RoboForm Password Manager Tutorial. How to use RoboForm. Good day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the channel. Today we're having a look at RoboForm and how it can store and manage your passwords for all of your sites, accounts that you use on your desktop and other devices that you use those same accounts on. So first of all, this is what you actually will find when you type in roboform.com. And as you can see, this is the URL or the website. This is the page that we get to. So the first thing we want to do is actually access roboform. Now it's a little bit of a process, but it's easy to do. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna tap on download at the top of the page. And this is now going to download a desktop app so that you can use it straight from your desktop. So the first thing you want to do is choose the system that you're using. So it is either Windows, Mac browsers, iOS, Android, Linux, or Chromebook. And once you've done so, you can then scroll down just a small bit and tap on install, and it will now install a version that is compatible to your device. As you can see here, it has started to download and it is 29 meg, so it's really not even very big. We're going to jump back into that in just a second. And now that it is complete, we can just tap on it and we can actually set up RoboForm. So you'll go through the process, of course, of installing a program or an app, just like any other program. And you will then get redirected to your Chrome Web Store. Now, as you can see over here, you will have to add the RoboForm Password Manager app as a Chrome extension. So it gives you a little bit of an overview and some information about the application. And right at the top, quite easily, all you have to do is tap on Add to Chrome and it will now be added as an extension. And again, as you can see here, it is now actually being added and it's been giving you a little notification. It says that it has been added and you can access it right over here in the extensions tab. Now, this is the point where you can actually either log in if you have an existing account or you can sign up. So once you have now signed up, you can see that you'll have to enter your email address and then they ask for a master password. Now this master password is the main password that you will use for RoboForm to access all of your other passwords and manage all of your other passwords. So it's very important that this password is of high quality. So it is a very complex password. And all you'll then have to do is tap on create account and it'll take you through the process. And as you can see here now, you can just tap on get started. Your account is now successfully been created and you can now manage the passwords that you are using either from the Chrome extension. As you can see right over here at the top, you can just tap on extensions and you can see that it is here. And of course, there are some options. You can see you can open it up and you can change the site data as you see over here and there are some options you can also then just remove it and you can manage all the rest of your extensions so for now what we are going to do is go into the chrome extension and we can just tap on maybe later and here is where you manage everything stated right over here three ways that you can add your passwords. So first of all, you can add it right over here. So these will all be manually. So once you tap on add new login, you will put all of your details in over here. So let us just tap on allow over there. And you can see here, you can just tap on create your own. Or if it comes up here in these apps you can just look for the app that you want to enter your password for and just select that one so let's say for example let us do a google and it says enter your username and password for google so right over here we're going to name it you can name it whatever you would like let's say you have more than one google account you can maybe name it google one or google greg or google work or Google personal, home, whatever it may be. You can name it whatever you want. Then you enter the email address that is associated with that Google account. And then you will be given your password. 
and then once you are done you can add a note if you would like and you can also access two-factor authentication so two-factor authentication will be a higher level of security and if you want to add that in there you can do so once you're done you can just tap on save on the bottom right hand side and as you can see here it is now there there are a few options so you can now play around with all the details here you can go to this account you can copy your username and your password you can view edit rename clone you can add it to your pinned list delete share and you can also send and again the process you just repeat you can just tap on add new and then you can add whichever account you want to add if you cannot find it here you can just type it in at the top over here so let's say for example upwork and you can now look for it through the list and perhaps if it's not there we can just tap on create your own we can now see that it is auto filled the website or the applications url it is also entered a name and now you can enter your details in over here and we just tap on save at the bottom as you can see again we will repeat that process and right over here you can see in your home page all of your accounts all in one place now another way you can do this is let's say perhaps you are going in to one of your accounts so we're going to tap over here and we're going to put our details in so once your details have been entered in you can just tap on log in and as you can see on the top right hand side uh, roboform the extension that we installed has now actually asked us if we can save this so instead of maybe adding them manually this is a great way to just access all of your websites and your accounts and automatically save it so as you can see here you got some options all the details are right in over here so you can change what folder they're going into you can change the password and the username and you can also change what site this is for so you can see here you can either do your login or sign up page or you can save it as the facebook page or the facebook with your account details on there and once you've done that you can just tap on save and you will jump into your facebook account and you will see if you go back to your home page you will see it that it has come up right over here i'm not going to use it now i'm going to show you another way to use roboform now you can go up to the top right hand side of your screen and you can see your account details here so you can either jump into settings where you can redefine all of the settings of your account underneath settings you will see import now once we tap on import you can actually just import all of your passwords from an existing or another platform that you have been using so google chrome if you use google chrome it has a password saver extension or a password manager extension so automatically all of your passwords are actually saved on google chrome so all you would need to do is tap on google chrome and then you just tap on import next to google chrome and basically what it says here is all windows to which roboform is attached must be closed for this operation to continue so basically what it's going to do is it's going to close all of these windows up at the top here as you can see i've got a few windows open it's going to close all of those windows that are attached to roboform and if you want this to happen automatically you can just say yes if you don't you can say no and it'll push you back but that is the way that you can import from one password manager into roboform and there you go now you can manage everything straight from this page over here it's quick and it's easy and as you log in you can then save all your passwords and it's a very 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 secure piece of software I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to leave us a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We will see you in the next video. Cheers for now.